Why is Stanley Phantom of the Opera? Why not? She's there, my angel of music. Ah. <laughs> that was beautiful. Sorry, that was Stanley. I, I shouldn't bow. Sing once again with me how strange you end. Today, I forgot how the beginning started. What are we doing today, Steven? We're gonna be pouring paint. Ooh, on what? Probably me. What? And canvases. Oh, we are going to be painting again, but this time acrylic paint pouring, which is a very satisfying, very cool thing to watch. You basically thin out paint, stack it in a cup, and then pour it on a canvas, and then you like shake it around and it looks all cool. That's the basic, I have no idea what I'm doing explanation. <laughs> So we bought all the stuff that we need a while ago because we've been really excited about this one. Oh my god, yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> also, Happy New Year! Possibly. Whether it's before New Year's a little oh, bit, true, or right. it's <laughs> after New Year, whatever it is, Happy New Year! Ooh. <laughs> or preemptively. And happy last video in this apartment. Yeah! We might do another video very soon where it's us moving into our new apartment though. Apartment tour! I found a intro tutorial video. Small budget acrylic pouring step by step for beginners. And it is by... Tictus Color Art. We've seen their stuff before and it's so good. We have a scale, we have some cups, we have some paint. Mix colors. So you add a certain amount of pouring medium mm -hmm. and then some water and some acrylic paint. You put those all together and then you pour it on a canvas. So that it like flows around. Yeah. We're hoping this turns out. We have to decide on what colors we're using. I want to do like a white and blue kind of thing. Oh. Turquoise. Oh. Turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> then they prepare the canvas, which is just taking, I guess, your lightest color and painting the background. Yeah. So that if your paint pouring doesn't hit every spot, or is it? It's also to makes make it the flow. Yeah. Just so that it reaches the corners. Do you think then you have, you have to... to do the the hand thing that he does yeah. in some of the videos? So then you pour the paint, like layer it in the cup, however you want. And so whatever you stack in the cup, when you pour the cup upside down, it pours all the paint out onto the canvas. If I don't like following. this color combination. Not so much. Although we've watched this, it doesn't look that bad in the end. It does remind me of like the Starbucks Christmas cups. The turquoise though, I don't like in it. And then you pour really slowly really in a little slow weird little circle. Circles. There's apparently like tons of different techniques for the actual pouring of the paint, but we're gonna follow this basic tutorial for today. And then the pouring begins. So you pick up your canvas and you make sure you have something underneath it to catch the paint that falls. <laughs> <laughs> and swirl it around. And you like literally like pour it off the sides of the canvas. This part seems scary to me. This is the part where it's like it's now or never. I think you have to go pretty fast with this too. So it doesn't dry. Yeah. And then you and end up with that beautiful thing. I mean, like there is a little bit of that light blue, but you don't see much of it. It's more of like an outline of the sections kind of. It's That's cool. true. We're going to have to move things around a little bit and set up a tarp and some newspapers, some biohazard suits and things because we don't want to spill this paint on our whole apartment. All right. Let's get set up. Yeah. Let's get this area ready to have paint poured all over it. We're going to paint things in our bedroom because it's the only room we have. We're standing in front of our bed and we're about to pour paint on something. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, so I get to go first? Sure. Okay, so. I don't know what colors to do. It was two to one to one. So it was two pouring mixed liquid to one paint to one water. Yeah. I'm gonna just do blue, purple, purple and, and black. black. Yeah. Okay, so now I need to put 20 grams of water in each one. For my experience, feeding my sourdough starter is not a lot of water. I would recommend you use something smaller to pour the water into yours. I'm going to stir these. I put a little bit too much water in that one. Oh, colorful. Wait, what one is that? Because you should have stirred the lightest Blue. color first. It's black. Don't pour it on my canvas. <laughs> doesn't really mix that well at first, eh? No, it takes a little bit to look good. Is this too liquidy? Anytime that I've seen somebody make these, they've said that so it looks too liquidy. <laughs> Which one was the one that we were worried about? All of them. There was only, I don't know, there was only one that I put exactly 20 in and the rest I put like 23. But three grams of water is so minimal that I think it's fine. Okay, I'm mixing up purple. So I did black, blue, and purple. And then I, I guess I- be pretty. And then I guess I need another cup to pour them in to like layer them. Yeah. Uh, you should find something better to stir with. This is not, if you have, we have like thicker popsicle sticks somewhere, which I know we do, I just don't know where they are. Yeah, that's good, you can rinse that. You can rinse that. Okay, good. Although this one still looks a little chunky. Thank you, mix it. Oh, wait, we're forgetting something. What? I think I mixed thoroughly here. Can you see the purple color? So I've got blue, purple, and black, which means that I need to paint my canvas blue, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Steven's off on some mystery adventure. I'm gonna paint it blue. This really watery blue paint. Like it's really watery paint. But I guess that's the idea. Ooh, satisfying. Keep in mind, I guess, when you're doing this, that whatever your lightest color is, technically you should make more of it. I think we messed this up. I don't think so. 
I forgot to put gloves on. I was gonna put gloves on. I just got blue paint all over my hand. That might be the way you messed up. It's just like, look, it's like so streaky on the canvas. I just feel like in there, maybe it was just the lighting, like, but yeah. it looked like they had like a thick layer of paint across it. I almost wonder if they painted it with regular paint, not with like the no. watered down paint. They used the thing that they had already poured. Are you sure? Yeah. And we bought the right kind of canvas. Yeah. Free Joseph. We learned that term from Art Sherpa in our last painting adventure. Okay, my canvas is blue. Now what? Now you pour them on the thing. Okay, I need another cup then. And I need something to get the blue paint off my hands. Hey, oh, that I don't know. I guess I could just dug my finger in the paint water. Nobody can see what I'm doing, but it's worth it. Steven brought wine. Hi, night. In Celebrate the Lion King Animal Kingdom Disney World wine glasses. Yeah! We're nothing if not Disney gays. Mmm. Mm. Wine. This vintage Cab Sauv from Chile is delicious. Can you get me a red solo cup, please? That's <laughs> less classy. I wish we had clear cups so we could show the really satisfying stacking of the paint. Should I start with blue, even though that's the color that's on the canvas? Does that look like it does in the video? Yeah. I did notice that like they pour it down the side of the cup, which I think stops it from like mixing. Because you don't want your colors to mix. You want them to... I think you want less... Um... Of each color. Yeah, you're trying to do this. I don't know if the stuff we bought is the right stuff. I think it's it just is. mixing into one color. No. You see what I mean? It's not like topping it with another color. Well, if you've done this before and know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. In the comments below, comment how embarrassing we are. I didn't put all the paint in because I don't think I'm doing it right. Literally, I just have a well, cup of no, blind No, just paint. do it. You might, it at this point, you might as well because if, if it's wrong, we're not going to use that paint. But we can't redo it. We don't have enough of the mixing liquid. Yeah, we can. We're doing it one more time anyway. Do your spiralies. <laughs> what did I say? It just mixed into one color in the cup. I see different colors. There's some blue. There's some I can't purple. do the spiral. There you go. There's a lot of paint left. It's gonna be like really dark, but I think that it might look cool. Might not look correct, but it will look cool. Kind of looks like a geode. Yeah, and I think that's what it's supposed to do. Should I do the thin scrapey thing or should I just go for it? Oh, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Cool. 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 All right. Temporary pauses. We ran out of space on the memory card on the camera that was filming the pay pour. So, might delay it, might cause it to not move as well. We'll see. It looks kind of cool. We will see what happens. Even wants me to just like vamp a little, you know, to eat up the time. <laughs> Still very wet. I mean, it takes 24 hours to dry. I think we'll be okay. Right? Well, hey, what's the channel called? Bad at making YouTube! <laughs> You ever drink red wine with big blue gloves on? Well, we're stressed. We had to get a new memory card. We already poured. We're gonna do the shifty thing now, whatever that's called. Ready? Camera rolling? Okay, pouring. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, I don't want to ruin the middle part, the part I like. I think you're supposed to go really far into it. It's like, it's kind of cool in like a dark, chunky way. It is very chunky. Why is it so chunky? I'm trying to get the edges. I've seen them do this in the video where they like touch the edge and the paint pours, but I don't think I have enough paint. Okay, well, this was a complete failure. It just mixed all the colors together. What do I do with this? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll look cool once it's dry. We'll find out tomorrow. Just taking paint off the table now. I can't even look at it and say like, oh, it's kind of cool. Maybe in a weird chunky way. No, it's stupid. It went terribly wrong. We missed like a, a step somewhere, I'm sure. When you watch the video of people doing these things, they pour the paint in and the paint like stacks. Whereas when I was pouring the paint in, it was just mixing with the color below it. And I kept telling Steven that while I was pouring and he said, no, it's good, it's great. Well, you can't fix it. We only have two goes of this. Yeah, we didn't buy enough of the pouring liquid to do this. We, We're this, not rich YouTubers. This is turning out exactly like the time Sophia Nygaard did this and she had to like go out and rebuy all the equipment and do it again. I mean, you should just ball up this garbage bag and then we should carry this on like a piece of a newspaper or something. Okay. I'm too afraid the paint is gonna drip all over the apartment. Ah! Perfect. This. It's gonna go outside and dry. Because it's obviously gonna look fine in the end. What a nightmare. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there it is. Celebrating 50 years of Fluvog, <laughs> tell your pants. Fluvog! <laughs> it's my favorite ad. If anybody tries to tell you this is fun, tell them to go home and get out of your house and out of your life and they're a terrible human being. I think we need less of the pouring medium. Mm -hmm. I think it made it way too thin. So you want to use less? Yeah. Okay. I feel like it was too much. Maybe it was just the water. So do you want to just do no water? Sure. Yeah. I'm doing the same that you did for your ratio, but what? no water. No water. I wanted to do red. Yellow's pretty. And I would make orange. And it would be like fiery. Mm -hmm. That's how colors work. Should I do black? Should I do white? No. Black. White? Black. The black seemed to overtake in mine and just make everything black. So maybe avoid it and do these two and then orange? Sure. Like have like fire? Yeah. Or maybe the purple? Just the purple? I think that would be pretty. No. 
<laughs> no, I do not. Oh, how about these ones? In blue? Uh, That's pretty. Sure. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I think that this stuff looks cool with like mixed colors, so. Yeah, okay, so, so how 20 much? 20 grams. 20? Yeah. I was do so you scared. Want me to start mixing this for you? Sure. Uh, you should let's probably. Size. Yeah. It's only 450. It's pitch black inside. Welcome to winter! Okay, this looks way better. Oh, that looks. Nope! Nope, nope, nope! Nope! Yep, yep, Steven. Purple and red. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. I feel like this sweater has like a little bit of super villain shoulders going on here. Like I've got implants like Gaga. This is so smooth compared to what I was doing. Oh, that looks so much better. Is it pour thicker. though? Oh yeah, it still pours. Enough though? You can add a little no, bit more of the looks... pouring medium to each one if you want. It looks right, right? Yeah, don't pour it out. I'm just looking. And then it says to let it sit after stirring for a minute so that the air bubbles go out of it. I feel like it's a little thick. What do you think I should add? Pouring medium or? Yeah, there's only a little bit of pouring medium left. You could probably add like five grams to each. Do you want like a paper towel to wipe off the... Oh, you have a brush in there. Ooh, you're smart. You're so smart. This is why I'm going to marry you. Not for my money. Well, I mean also your money. So you have to paint the canvas with the light color. Okay, it's time to paint. Time to do paint. Okay, so I'm going to give you your colors. Blue, purple, red. Mm, that looks better. Still looks thin though. Yeah, but less like watercolors than mine did. I almost feel like you should just pour a layer of the paint over the canvas to start. Why are you painting it with a brush when we know pouring paint exists? Also, we're getting all of our messy creative things out of the way before we move because there will be no painting in the new apartment. Yeah, there will. <laughs> I'm really excited for our first cooking video in the new apartment though because the kitchen is beautiful. And I can do dishes now. And Steven's gonna do a bath time video because the bathtub's really pretty. Oh my God. We'll do a, a boyfriend day in the bathtub. Oh. Ernie. Get out of the tub. Bubble time Q&A. Bubbly and bubbles. We'll get champagne and bubbles. I will be wearing a shirt. <laughs> I won't. Hi, Mom. Why are we so sexual in these videos? We're not like this. YouTube brings something We out don't make these people. jokes every day. Like, I don't get it. Okay. Freaking Christmas video. Steven's asking me if I like to give or receive. It's a Gifts. Mm, 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 mm. All right. <laughs> Should I start with the darker color? Sure. Start with what your heart believes in. I'm gonna go get a snack. That's rude. I'm just gonna be here all alone. <laughs> now I think this is too thick. I'm excited for a video where we fail at them. That playlist hasn't been added to in a while. No, it Want has. Want a little crackle? What are you doing? Put it on my head. Put it on the ritz. Now there's salt in your hair. <laughs> what color's next? Red. Oh my god, so much better. Thank you. What color's next? Purple. Yes. Is yours? Oh, yours is doing the thing. Yours is doing the thing that mine didn't do. Well, I'm so sad. Why did I go first? Maybe we can put this up in our new bathroom. Way better than mine. Ugh. Should we try water marbling in the video? Ah. Oh, wait, wrong head. Ah. Hate. Yeah, I don't think anybody's blood is that vibrant. Cause your blood is like glitter. I don't know if you can read it. Celebrating the Lion King. We went on this really cool food and wine tour at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Steven's mom and dad bought us for our birthday. It was amazing. Our birthday. Did I say that? We have combined birthdays now. <laughs> we are one person after all. We are one, you and I. We are like the earth and sky. One family under the sun. Are you done yet? I'm trying to get as much of this paint out as possible. Okay. Ready? So what do I do? I do little spirals. Okay, so I, do? I had a really little hard time points. doing the spirals though. And I kind of just had to focus on pouring it. Okay. Because it's really hard to do that like fine motion. But you do your best. I think this is too thick. It looks really cool. I don't know. I don't think it's too thick. It's also like pouring in a really weird way. It's like the colors are mixing when they hit the table. That's Ooh, cool. Ooh, I like that. Look at that ribbon. There's a lot more red in this than I thought there was going to be. Mm, yours is turning out way better than mine is. Paint is like pouring, but staying as its own colors, not mixing into one color. It looks cool. Look at that. You know what the colors you used are? Like almost Rocket Pop meets like Wild Berry Pop-Tart. <laughs> So now what do I do? I just like pour it. You're supposed to do like one severe one to one corner, right? And then severely to the opposite. I think that I didn't tilt okay, mine enough. Three, two, one to the corner towards Chris. Okay. Oh. It is a little thick. I think it's thick. You might have a tough problem getting it to cover the whole thing, but it looks awesome. So if it does work, it's gonna be cool. And then go another way. Oh, it looks so cool. Maybe it's not enough paint though. I don't think it's gonna be enough paint. I don't think it's gonna be enough paint. I don't think it's gonna be enough paint. <laughs> he doesn't think it's gonna be enough paint. Oh! 
probably because it's all in my hands. Oh, come on. It's still slowly pouring. It's really trying its best and it looks super cool. Maybe you could let it dry and then you can just like paint something there or like put a bunch of glitter. Oh, it's cool, my love. Come on, that's supposed to work. Yeah, I had a hard time with the edges too. Is it moving at all? Nope, a little bit. It's pouring down the side. What? Ow. You just like let gravity do its work. All right, gravity, do Is it. it. Moving? It's moving. Barely. It should get there. It looks so cool. Like if anything, we're gonna like cut it in half and frame that. It does look kind of cool. It does. Way better than mine turned out. <laughs> it's getting there though. Like it actually has covered a lot more than when you first put it on the easel. We did a really good job. We just needed more paint, but we didn't have enough thinner to make more paint. So it's not like we messed up. <laughs> we just didn't buy enough. Pro tip, buy lots and lots of paint thinner. Yeah, pro tip, if you're filming- not thinner. No, don't buy paint thinner, buy- Pouring medium. Yeah, not paint thinner. Pro tip, if you are filming YouTube videos and doing a thing in the YouTube video, buy more of the thing than you think you need because you can't go out in the middle of filming and buy something. It's a freaking pandemic. The purple is horrible. Do you want me to pour some purple? That wouldn't be pourable. No? Okay. That, that wouldn't be pourable. Like horrible? So you're saying yes? Yes. It's coming, that. it's coming, it's coming. Where do I pour it? Here? Yeah, don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably f***ed it up by adding the purple there. We overcorrected from mine, but I think it'll be pretty. If it fills the canvas eventually, it'll be pretty. Yeah, it seems like if you like attach paint to where there was paint, it like pulls the rest of the paint down. It's cool though. It's like a marble counter, but weird colors. I'm like barely in this video because I'm so far over the side. Hi, hey. welcome back me. How much paint did you get in your white sweater? None, so far. We need straws for our wine. I feel like I would go for more contrasted colors. Mm -hmm. The blending colors, I feel like isn't great. Yeah, it's funny that we were judging the color choices on the internet, but then when we did it, we were like, these colors look good together, but then they blend together. Yeah. Yeah. Although well, I still like this. Next time I would do more of each color in each layer that I did, because I think that I did a little bit too little of them, thinking that it would make it more intricate, but it made it more blendy, I think. And you were saying that to me that I was doing too much of each color. Yeah, but yours also was really thin, so it blended together, so I, that was why I thought... Okay, it's done. It's done the thing. Are you okay with the purple corner? Yeah. And here is the mostly final product. Ta -ta. Really Aww, all over it? my arm. Oh. We're going outside. Oh, you're just gonna carry like that? You're gonna carry like that? Yeah, I thought so. No. Oh, we'll have well, to... No, 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 not now. Well... I got paint on the ottoman. Okay, I put little pumpkins on the, what did you do? What? What did you do? Where is their paint? Just tell me. Where? In the ottoman. Where? Fuck. <gasps> All right. Now that we've made too many Sophia references, I would like to address that this was an idea that was brought to us by Sophia because she really liked these videos and we really liked Sophia and the paint pouring sounded really cool. She did a much better job than us. So you should check out her video. I'm sure that it'll be connected to this one somewhere over this side, Oops. but if not, just search for it. We'll link it in the bottom. <laughs> Anyways, we've gotten paint on everything and I think now we've gotten it off most things. Uh, we now have to let those sit for at least 24 hours. We're not gonna have time tomorrow so two days from now, we're gonna sit down and film the results. So we will see you guys right now. I haven't showered in three days. I just told everyone I haven't showered in three days. There's nothing worse you could do. Yeah, I wasn't wearing my crown. Oh. <laughs> and we're back. We're back, baby. And we have waited and the paintings are pretty and dry and it's exciting. All right, we're good to go. Yeah. Painting number one. Oh. Oh, I mean like, there you go, there's a good angle. Look at that, it kind of looks kind of cool. I mean, I honestly think that it's like kind of neat. I hate it. <laughs> well, we knew that it wasn't gonna work. Our paint was too thin. Look how lumpy it is. It's very lumpy. It doesn't feel as lumpy as it looks. Is it stuck to the easel? Okay. Hell, why? I guess acrylic paint bonds to acrylic paint. It's fun. Good to know. The front looks kind of cool. I can see how it could look cool, but then you look at the edges, like you can see the oh, canvas. Yeah, sure. Like it looks the like edges they're are terrible. Calling it a fail. Yeah. Can I just like punch through it before we throw it? Out? Yeah, do it. Ow. <laughs> Maybe it's weaker from the paint. Nope. Wow. <laughs> And painting number two, Steven's attempt. This is the big reveal. Ta da! This one actually turned out. I think that it needed more light colors or like more contrasted colors, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or like I needed to do bigger circles or something. Maybe. When I poured it in. Yeah. When I oh. poured it in first. But there's just too little definition between them. And I mean, just ignore that little purple on the side. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, if you put your head there, where you had it, it kind of looks like you've got like a little ghost body Thank and you're that terrifying thing from the Muppets mm -hmm. Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. I am the ghost of Christmas I am the ghost past. of Christmas past. Past, is she past? Ooh. 
everywhere. Somehow this looks like a ghost, <laughs> apparently. Anyways. Let us know if you've tried paint pouring because it's not fun. It's very difficult. Let How us... do people think this is like a satisfying thing? I don't know. They, they, let us know if it goes as poorly as ours did. <laughs> I'm waiting to say that for like five days. Yeah, I mean, it didn't go well. <laughs> no, but I mean, this one is kind of pretty. I can tell you how people think that it's fun. They probably do a little more research than us. They probably buy enough materials. They probably try more than once. They're probably not also filming at the same time. <laughs> Thanks for watching once again. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if you've tried paint pouring. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Wow. Is that good? <laughs> no. <laughs>